All right, so I thought tonight I would talk about an interesting phenomena that is rare. You don't see it often, but it happens. <laughs> and uh, the phenomena is interesting and people don't really understand it very well, but I wanna shed uh, my insight into this, which is why some men who previously identified as gay or homosexual or bisexual will come out as straight. Oh, I'm gonna piss off a lot of people with this video. Look, we live in, this world is shit, okay? It's just shit. And it's that we live in a beautiful fucking world. Our bodies are amazing. The universe is amazing. This earth is amazing. It's beautiful. It's exquisite. It's divine, okay? But people are trash. And if you just look at the way people have treated nature and how people treat one another, you know, I always say this all the time. There's absolutely no reason for anyone to die unless there's an accident or they die of some kind of old age or disease. There's absolutely no reason why anyone should ever die for any other purpose. I'm talking about violence, I'm talking about hatred, I'm talking about racism, homophobia, transphobia, and domestic violence, and everything else. There are boys that are more feminine, just in general. They're just, we would call them effeminate men. <laughs> oh, I hate that word, effeminate men. No, they're not effeminate men. They just don't exhibit the traits that people would consider to be masculine. So pay attention to what I just said. I'm going to say that again. There are no effeminate men. There are only men... Effeminate men are the men that don't live up to the expectation society puts on men to be whatever, machismo, whatever. So if you're a little boy and you don't have certain behavioral patterns, everyone is automatically going to lump you into a group of boys that are considered to be either oddballs or weirdos or effeminate. And when we take boys who are not hyper-masculine and might have feminine traits, in this society, we automatically start attaching, and this is wrong, to try to attach a sexual orientation to a child. We start saying, oh, he's gay. I think he's gay. He's a little boy. He would rather play with a doll than play with a G.I. Joe. He must be gay. Oh, he likes to draw a lot. He's really, really into art and music. I think he's gay. Oh yeah, he dances. You know, he dances and, and, and does ballet and all kinds of other stuff. He must be gay. He likes herbs, he likes plants, he likes flowers. He must be gay. So in this society that we live in, we immediately start um, push, we, we start pushing even in a subtle influence by our perception of that person, we start pushing them towards a homosexual lifestyle or the belief or we implant in their mind the idea that they must be homosexuals because they are not whatever the stereotypical heterosexual cisgendered male uh, behavior is. It's based on behavior. So a little boy, a, a boy, a a preteen, a teenager, a young man could be in circumstances where his surroundings as and his environment is pushing him towards homosexuality as, well, that's who you are. So there's uh, this confusion that happens and there's this coming out process, you know, they get, they, they start engaging in homosexual activities with other, other boys and men. And I'm going to tell you that it's very easy for 
men to engage in homosexual and bisexual practices with one another because men are just more comfortable with other men, okay? So it might be a comfort thing. Uh, and I, no, I'm serious, that's for real. So then it's like, okay, well, I must be gay because I really enjoy being with other men in a sexual way. And then something happens. <laughs> then all of that repressed, all the repressed or depressed and suppressed feelings that are sexual towards the opposite sex, at some point in time, they blossom, they bloom. And when they blossom and they bloom, that person starts having uh, starts desiring females, naturally, um, instead of being with men. And they start to realize, oh, I'm not really gay. So then there's this whole, well, I, I must be bisexual, okay? Or maybe they just realize, no, I was in a phase. I was interested in other guys for a time. Maybe I thought it was cool to be gay. Maybe it was like what people told me I should be. And now I realize, no, I'm not really gay. I just want to live my life and I want to be with a woman. So there's the coming out as straight story. Oh, and it just makes people so mad when a man is able to clarify for himself what his sexual orientation is and what it is that he really likes and tells everybody about it. Because in this fucking woke-ass society that we live in, and, you know, because of television and movies and, and a liberal agenda, you know, we applaud somebody that comes out as gay. We, uh, we applaud people that come out as gay. But if someone comes out and says, well, I'm gay, but then let's say five years, five years later, ten years later, or at some other point in time, they say, you know what, yeah, I'm, I'm actually not gay. I was wrong. I was confused. I, I really am... Um, I feel internally that I'm a heterosexual man and um, I would like everybody to, to view me that way. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's a bad thing to people. They don't like that. Um, when, <laughs> like when, uh, when people realize who they really are and they're not homosexuals. I think that we should support everybody in their life choices. I don't think we should criticize them. And it's just, let me, let me just put it this way. It's just as traumatizing for a man to have to clarify his sexual orientation after coming out of the closet as being gay or bisexual or whatever. It's just as traumatizing to have to clarify your sexual orientation and tell everybody, no, 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 you know, I'm really straight. I really, really like women. I Sexually, I'm attracted to women. I enjoy being with women more. And that is the life that I want. I want to have a wife. I want to have children. I want to procreate. I want to have this kind of lifestyle. It's just as traumatizing for a man um, to have to clarify his sexuality as it is to come out of the closet in the first place because I have done both. And the other th thing is, you know, once you engage in homosexuality or bisexuality or you're part of that lifestyle for a while or you're part of that group, um, you will always be identified as being part of that group, you see. And there's no getting around it and there's no way to escape it. So um, you'll always be gay or bi or queer to everyone else. If you ever come out of that closet, there ain't no going back in. <laughs> all right but props to all of the guys out there who clarify their sexual orientation